What's going on everybody? Welcome to Gmaya's World and right here we're going to be taking a look at the loyalty packs and how you get them with the weekly solo objectives. I was waiting and psyched for a Memorial Day promo from EA Sports but I have yet to see it. I don't know what's going on. Usually every year it's been done. I don't know if they just dropped the ball or they forgot but we're going to go ahead and show you what I did um, while I realized that there was no Memorial Day promo. I'm like yo I might as well do all my objectives to get my loyalty uh, badge because usually these late promos they go into doing something for the next Madden. So last Last year they had some players that, you know, you did some sets late, you got like a possible transfer. I don't remember exactly what the players were, but I always do sets that have any possibility of getting you a card for the next Madden, just so I could jump right into it. You know what I'm saying? Once you get these transferable cards, you log in and it's on. So what we're going to do, there goes the tokens and what you do to get the players and the packs and all that stuff like that, just, so, just in case you don't know what's going on with the loyalty promo. But um, some of these things you can use... Like this receiving thing, I'm just giving you an example. The milestones, you could use those same milestones objectives to go towards what the objectives are. Even though I already have all the receiving yards, I'm just showing you. You can utilize these for benefits to get also, you know, whatever it is. Whatever milestone badges or something that you might need. Even though in my opinion the milestones have been really lackluster. Um, it's just good to be able to use these solos for different reasons. So now that I showed you that, I'm going to go to the team challenges because I don't think anybody completed every team challenge. If you have, kudos to you, bro. But there's a lot of challenges. Um, I only did what I had to do to get the Grunk Ultimate Master. So, you know, whenever I need new solos, I just go to the ones that are there. So what you saw what I needed with the objectives. They were running yards. So all you're going to do, you're just going to come out pretty much power O. Um, they got some inside zone plays that are really cheesy against the computer. And just come out and run the ball, bro. Get the touchdowns, get whatever else you need to do. And, um, you know, pretty much get it done. Get sticky like that, too, if you want to. But, you know what I'm saying? That's sold separately, yeah? Yo, bro, that stick skill is sold separately. Don't trip. Um, but, yeah, like I said, getting the objectives done is very, very easy. It's just the things where you have to uh, have the completions. You know what I'm saying? Like 40 completions and all the other crap. A lot of you guys don't really like playing the CPU. For the most part, the CPU is my lab partner. So, you know, I enjoy playing against them because they're going to cheat when necessary. And it kind of prepares you for the BS that might come out against your regular opponents because you never know what's going to happen in a Madden game. I don't care what you say. You don't know what's going to happen, bro. You could be the rawest person in the game. You're going to get blown out by a bum. It doesn't matter. So as you see, as we get through that, I was just running the ball, power O, a little bit of counters. You get all those coins, whatever like that. And then you go over and see what else is left. Now... Because we only need two more touchdowns, all you have to do is go to the milestones. You know, if you haven't completed your milestones, they have the milestones for, what, 125 yards rushing or something like that. So all you do is you just split it up and you run for two touchdowns while you're doing the rush yards. Very, very simple, bro. Don't waste a lot of time doing it because it's just best to get it done as soon as possible. That way you don't forget. Because if the Memorial Day promo had come out, I probably wouldn't have gotten to do my Mutt Loyalty set. So shout out to uh, EA Sports for not releasing it today. Um... But either way, happy Memorial Day, everybody, in case I didn't say that uh, already. By the way, this is what you have to do. You just When you get to the red zone against computer, just run tosses, man. Just run tosses like that and just get it in the end zone real quick. And then right here, we're just going to get the last amount of yards that are needed to complete the milestones to get the collectible. And then that's it. Now we have everything. So when we get out of the screen, we're going to go right to what you will see. Please don't lose any of the loyalty badges. You know what I'm saying? Because... By the time you know it, the, the week's over and then you can't go back and do it. So now you look at it, you're going to get a coin reward for doing all of the weekly solo objectives. And then you're going to get your loyalty pack. Now inside the loyalty pack, you're gonna be, it's going to be two cards. They're going to give you a verif verifiable card, just like for proof of some crap. I don't know what this is about. It's just, they just want to have more cards in your binder so that you have to keep buying packs and have a, you know, so you can have more space. Because it really makes no sense for them to have, you know, it should just be a loyalty card. I don't know, because the other card, you can sell it for 250 but it's like proof. You know, proof of completion. Like, who needs that? Are they, they really think that dudes are like young kids or something. We don't need proof. We know we just did it, EA. But it's all good, man. That's how you do that. Shout out to everybody that has any family member that fought in any wars. Enjoy your Memorial Day and your BBQs. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.